Hi everyone, today we want to talk about our advanced placement program here at District 201 and my name is Rich Moore, I'm Assistant Principal for Instruction. We have the Assistant Principal at Morton East, Mr. Jose Gamboa, with us at the West Campus. Uh, veteran teacher Jen Sorensen teaches the advanced placement English language and composition and at the Morton East Campus we have Mr. Tug Gillingham who teaches AP U.S. History and again we want to talk about how we're preparing our students for the AP exams this year. I came to Morton West seven years ago and at that time that year there were 79 students who took AP exams. This year we tested over uh, over 600 students at the, more, at the West Campus and so this is no easy feat. Our students have been uh, challenged and the amount of rigor and relevance that goes into the advanced placement curriculum is tremendous and our kids have, have risen to the challenge uh, and they have been supported and guided by, uh, by our awesome mm -hmm. teachers at both campuses. So today we want to talk about um, what the teachers are actually doing to prepare kids for these exams. And so we brought in two specific courses where many kids have, uh, have just taken the AP test and we want to talk to the, our teachers about what we do to prepare them. So for our audience to know what exactly uh, the Advanced Placement English Language uh, course is, it is uh, instead of taking a general ed um, core English class at the junior level, students can choose to take the Advanced Placement English or the Advanced Placement U.S. History at the junior level. And can you tell us, Jens, uh, Mr. Sorensen, just exactly what are the tasks on the exam that students are challenged with at when they, are, when they actually take the test? Uh, students uh, on the AP English Language and Composition test have to uh, master three kinds of writing, uh, the rhetorical, the argumentative, and the synthesis, uh, all distinct kinds of writing. And we practice those through the year with uh, challenging reading and prompts. And through that process, uh, try to make growth throughout the year, uh, preparing them up to the, the test in May. Okay, and so when they, when they take the test, they, they actually engage in three different essays, the, the types that you just mentioned. How are these, how is this writing different than uh, a non-advanced placement junior English course? Uh, I think the, uh, the depth of what's being asked by the students is different. Uh, they're very challenging. The, it has a non-fiction uh, um, accent as opposed to a uh, one with fiction. And the, uh, the questions, there's a multiple choice question part of the test too is uh, very difficult. It, it asks probing questions that uh, in non-AP courses might not have been asked before. So there's more, uh, more demanding uh, introspection in the questions and uh, the essays as well. And I know that many of the juniors that take the uh, Advanced Placement English uh, Language course also take the, um, take the AP U.S. History course. Mr. Gillingham, can you talk a little bit about the uh, advanced placement history classes as opposed to the uh, core American history classes. What are some of the differences between the classes? Well, just like Mr. Sorensen said, you know, this is a more in-depth class when it comes to history. Um, it's, it's more geared after, towards being a college class. Um, it's a survey of United States history all the way from before Columbus came to America, you know, and what the native peoples were doing all the way up until present day. You know, so we go. We call it Columbus to Obama, um, and it's it's extremely in depth, um, and the students are really kind of being challenged to to reflect on history and to analyze the different time periods and and connect historical events together through different cause and effect type um, situations. What kind of uh, work did you provide to help this prepare students for the AP level? Um, Preparing for the AP test is kind of an all-year um, adventure. Um, so when we start off, we divide the, the year up into different, or the, the, the year's worth of curriculum up into different eras. Um, and per era, we'll do uh, different types of writing prompts where they're asked to compare and contrast or to reflect, um, to analyze, you know, breaking the, breaking the topic down into the smaller parts for, to show a better understanding of the material. 
Um, some of the materials that we use are actually primary documents from that time period. So, you know, when we're talking about the Civil War, we're going to read the Emancipation Proclamation and the Gettysburg Address um, in order to kind of put the historical figures of that time period into a better um, understanding of their surroundings. Now, we have about 400 students that took the AP American History yes, test at Morton East. Practice. So, talk a little bit about what the uh, history teachers, because you alone don't teach all those students. Talk a little bit of what the team did uh, to prepare, help prepare those students. You're right. There's no, there's no I in team. That's for sure. Um, there's seven AP U.S. History teachers, um, and every Tuesday or every other Tuesday we have meetings in the morning where we're discussing. Um, different ideas for primary document analysis um, and things like that. We also uh, have a group team focused uh, writing initiative um, for every era. So what we'll do is we'll assign all assign the same writing prompt and we'll take all of our students' essays and grade them uh, based on the advanced placement rubric. Um, we'll collect some data and we'll take a look at the numbers to see if we have growth in certain areas, maybe if we need to come back and reteach other areas, um, but but we look at data in order to kind of better enhance our, our, our teaching practices. As far as review sessions to prepare your students, what did you guys do to prepare your students for the AP exam? Review sessions. It is a lot of history for, for one year, and the students, they do, um, they do take advantage of the review sessions. We would, uh, starting about two months out, we'd have uh, bi-weekly review sessions from 6 to 8 p.m. at night in the in the library. So if you're you know if your child was telling you they're at a review session, they probably were. Um, and we, the reason we go so late is because of all the extracurricular activities that that our students are involved in. Because we know that you know for a well-rounded student, they should be participating in many many different activities. So you know we we review certain time periods, um, and you know when we made it our way all the way through history and get up to the present, we kind of cap it off with a nice uh, mock test, or a mock exam we call it, where the students come in on a Saturday morning and they sit down and they essentially pretend they're taking the AP test. This is a, a three hour and five minute uh, examination that has them writing three essays, and 80 multiple choice questions, um, you know, and, and very few of them have done that before. So, you know, it's kind of almost baptism by fire, but it's a good it's a good way for them to kind of learn how to pace themselves and things like that when it comes to the exam and the actual test day. You know, and at the at the West Campus, we also we also um, have many test um, test prep situations where kids come in on Saturdays. They're here after school. We create a test prep calendar so you know calculus doesn't conflict with you know English lit and so on because our kids are so busy, and it's it's really awesome to see that kids are so involved. Um, one, I think, very valuable experience that uh, the junior English uh, and U.S. history teachers engaged in was that about 320 of our students took a practice test during the day um, and actually sat down for the whole three and a half hours um, and took the uh, section one and section two of the exam. For, from the uh, English language perspective, can you talk about, um, you know, what kids did with those essays and how that experience helped them um, prepare for the exam. Well, and as Mr. Gillingham was saying, at East, at West, similarly, we, uh, we gave the, the entire test and uh, three, ex three, um, uh, three essays and a uh, one-hour multiple-choice test. And that really helped the students when, they, when we, and all the teachers graded those, so they got the experience of the, the full-time, just of an AP exam will be, and they got the results back that were also graded on the, uh, the AP rubric. So they had a, a dry run of what the whole AP was like. And they, I think that really helped them when they took the AP, they were ready for that, that day. You know, that, that whole, all you can do in, in a regular class is one aspect of the test, one essay, one multiple choice test. This you could do everything. So just the fact of taking that uh, got them, I think, mentally ready and then they also saw the results of it. So they kind of saw where they're at and, you know, where do we need to go from here? So they had a, an actual example of what they did and uh, proof of where we need to go after that. 
So they, they were given their results and they were given yes. the rubric and they were given very quick turnaround in terms right. of... Right, it was, it was as close as we could do to replicate an AP experience. Mm -hmm. As we, you know, as we started this, uh, this segment, uh, the advanced placement um, experience at Morton East and Morton West is growing and now at the Freshman Center with uh, the course, it, the advanced placement world history course is growing. It's an opportunity for students to raise the bar in terms of, their, uh, in terms of academic rigor. We are um, helping students meet this challenge because our teachers are so devoted um, to their success um, through uh, experiences after school, on weekends, and obviously during, during the class periods. I hope you found this segment informative. If you think that your student is, uh, it would like to take an advanced placement course, have them see their guidance counselor at Morton West, Morton East, or the Freshman Center. Stay tuned for more 201 Today.